as we open the curtains and inaugurate this historical event. At the end of this program, I'm sure all of you will be writing many new stories and weaving more connections. We are good to begin. Shall we begin? Yes, we shall. We shall. Thank so you. So this is just a request once again to all of you to ensure that you turn to the interpretation you will find the symbol, the globe symbol at the foot of the Zoom screen. Please turn to English for those who are listening in English. And we are delighted to also have Indonesian interpretation. So please choose the interpretation and ensure that we keep your audios muted because never before have we had and never again we shall be having such a great opportunity. So as St. John Youth said, let us not allow it to pass without making the holiest use of it. I find this quote very appropriate for this gathering because we have come together as one force to seize the opportunity pick up this great challenge of reinventing the future for the Good Shepherd education. So here, they say, no, if we really care about something, we will be there. I'm so glad that all of us here chose to care a lot about it and be present here today. We are three of us. We will be co-facilitating the session. Let me introduce the three of us. And I am Sashi. I am a good, good shepherd. Let me, I'm, let me say why I'm adding a double good to my name. I'm a good, good shepherd because I take great delight in my good shepherd rules. I am a teacher, a great educator from Chennai, India. And on a, with this, to, uh, the two of my friends, who are co-facilitating are Teresa. Teresa Simmons is uh, no stranger to you. She is the regional manager of GSIF and she's dialing in from well, Malaysia. Yeah. And she's delighted to be here as a great educator who's the driving force behind this session. Teresa, you, I'm sure everyone will realize the power of what you are bringing forth today into this beautiful gathering and we have yet another educator who you are going to be meeting. Most of you perhaps will be meeting for the first time and she is none other than Onali. Onali De Silva is the new uh, manager for the regional manager for Good Shepherd International Foundation in uh, Asia Pacific. So welcome Onali and Onali is a wonderful educator herself about more good shepherd stories which you will be unraveling very soon in the course of these few uh, two and a half hours you're going to be sharing with us today so three of us will be leading you through this uh, session and uh, during this time together we will be bringing in more voices and let me just share with you what comes ahead We will have a greeting, a time to salute all the great educators. We hope to get to know each one of you. And we will have a great deepening of understanding of our calling. And discuss on the next call to action. On this special occasion of celebrating. And I would like to just bring some small tips for you to remember in the which you would I would like you to remember for the program, which runs forth. Remember that when we are in our small breakout rooms, you have to select a leader who will animate the discussion during that short time together and make sure that we listen to each other with a heart 
and hold the space for beautiful conversations to take place. And one of you can volunteer to be the timekeeper to make sure all the voices are heard in the breakout rooms. And don't forget that we will have some Ventimeters, the links to which will be posted on the chat box. All you need to do is watch out on the chat box and click the link to share your voice. And why are we here? What better way to say a happy birthday to St. Mary of Asia? I'm sure all of you will agree. The 226th birthday is going to be celebrated with great aplomb. And what better way to do that? Let me run through the quick goals and objectives of the session. You know, Teresa and I have been dreaming a lot about this beautiful goal which we have put forth towards here for you. That is to bring together all the schools in Good Shepherd Asia Pacific for the celebration of St. Mary of Asia's birthday. And we hope that this celebration of coming together, one Good Shepherd family, we will get to know each other across different regions and countries and share our stories exchange good practices. We hope to gather our hopes for the Good Shepherd Schools in Asia Pacific. I'm sure something beautiful is waiting to emerge. And now, none of this would have happened. This gathering would never have happened without our beautiful unit leaders who have so excitedly joined us in this venture. So I'll invite them to share their words of welcome to us. May I invite the unit leaders to raise their hands so that we can spotlight you. Um, we will be periodically muting all. So in case you find that you are muted, I request you to just check before you unmute yourself. Can we um let me see? Can we request the unit uh, leaders to just raise their hands so that we can see you, where I you are? See. Okay. Thank you. Yes, I can see Susan and Adin. Welcome, welcome. I'm just checking in one by one. Yes. Uh, and Sans, can, uh, Sujani. Sujani, and I'm looking for Alfonso. Alfonso is here. Ah, there. Good. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Sujani. Thank you so much. Uh, Sujani, let me, Sujani. Let me spotlight Sujani. <laughs> yes. Oh, here we are. <laughs> Over to you, province leaders. Over to you. Okay. Thank you, Teresa, um, Sashi, and Onali for organizing. So, uh, good afternoon, uh, good morning to all our dear Good Shepherd mission partners. Uh, we warmly welcome you, each one of you, to the first gathering of Good Shepherd educators from schools across Asia Pacific. In the past, we have had gatherings from social services, which emphasize empowerment and rebuilding of lives. As Good Shepherd educators, you are shaping lives to make a positive impact in society. Everyone in the education system, principals, teachers, technicians, support staff, etc who through your participation in the school system, make a difference in the lives of each student. Today, as Good Shepherd educators, together, we can create a common identity as Good Shepherd schools in the region. This is a small beginning of something great that is coming from the future. Therefore, 
This gathering is indeed a significant gathering. We recognize your great contribution in the Good Shepherd mission. As we gather to celebrate the birthday of St. Harry Frazier, our founders, it reminds us of our purpose and mission in the field of education. May this initiative to build compassionate connections across Asia Pacific be strengthened into the years to come. Over to you, Pushpa. <laughs> Thank you, Salome. Today we are extremely happy and overwhelmed to see you all gathered in large numbers. This shows how much interest you have taken to connect with each other and to do something in the future. The purpose of this great gathering is to share our hopes and aspirations for Good Shepherd School in Asia Pacific for the future. To bring together all the educators and create Good Shepherd family bonds, sharing the stories and experiences of each school in Asia Pacific and learning from each other. We can prepare the students and communities to navigate the world of ever increasing complexity. Sharing our stories, building bridges and tunnels. Our girls are already doing it through IDG and other forums created to speak on different vocations about the needs of the girl child. It is a high time to connect with one another, reimagine our education system in the light of the emerging needs. Education is the kindling of a flame in the future of the students. Over to you, Lizzie. Please unmute, Lucy. Lizzie, please unmute. Lizzie, Lizzie, please unmute. Thank you, Pushpa. Mm -hmm. Our dear Good Shepherd educators, it is a golden opportunity and the privilege that you have got to come together, building compassionate connections across Asia Pacific region as we celebrate the birth anniversary of St. Mary Euphrasia. It is a remarkable step. Taking towards bringing together the vast resourcefulness of each one of you to acknowledge our gratefulness and admiration to all of you for the positive impact that you bring into the lives of students and the families through the Good Shepherd schools and the colleges across the region over 100 years. You are the change makers, dispelling the darkness of ignorance from the young minds. You are directly participating in the constructive and healthy buildings of nations by equipping and accompanying, accompanying the young ones to be truthful, compassionate, socially committed, justice conscious, and preparing them for tomorrow's national leaders and policy makers. It is time for us to be united together and to bring in social justice through our educational institutions, through each one of us, through all our students and their families, through our alumni groups, so that Together, we can voice out to make a difference to all our oppressive structures and systems. Yes, together you can and you will get organized. Sujani, please. Thank you. First and foremost, I thank the organizing team for giving me this opportunity to share a few words 
about the global challenges we face and for envisioning future education as educators. Let me begin by sharing with a phrase that has become a very popular saying in education circles. We are teaching 21st century learners using 20th century teaching practices in 19th century classroom settings. To make you understand this phrase in brief, teachers teach how they have been taught. If a teacher knows outdated teaching practices, how could they teach the students with updated teaching methods? So, where do we start to address this challenge? The future of work will bring new challenges and causes us to shift from our traditional teaching methods to new technology. The present students come from Generation Z and Generation Alpha. They are dealing with the technology smarter than us. They have grown up with all smartphones, tablets, iPads, and computers. So let us question ourselves. Are we ready to address these challenges? <laughs> the first skill that educators need to be armed with is adaptability or the ability to create their teaching according to the learning needs of the students. The learning process of the 21st century is increasing emphasized as mediated learning. It needs to be all about empowering students with transferable skills for employability, growing digital citizenships, critical thinking and creativity, as well as sustainable learning that will hold up to a rapidly changing world and not just be limited to prescribed content that has been chosen for its past relevance. By adopting this approach, teachers will be able to see the change in their classrooms, schools, and the community at large. So, so the role of the teacher is another crucial aspect in this time and age. The teacher being a facilitator instead of the dominator in the classroom setting is a gradual shift from a traditional teacher-centered classroom to a student-centered favorable learning environment. In modern global education, teachers' role is merely a facilitator who invests in innovative practices and coaches learners through challenges. So, the educators of this era need to be well balanced physically, spiritually, mentally, and well equipped with professional skills in order to be smart educators in the 21st century. So, let me wind up my sharing with the most famous quote of Mahatma Gandhi. A good teacher can inspire hope ignite the imagination and instill a love of learning. Thank you. Over to you, Sansu. Thank you, Sujani. Once again, we take this opportunity to express our sincere gratitude and appreciation <laughs> to each one of you. <laughs> Sansu, sorry, please unmute. Sorry. May I begin again? Yes, please. So once once again, we take this opportunity to express our sincere gratitude and appreciation to each one of you, our dear Good Shepherd educators, and celebrate with you the beauty of your calling to be mentors, counselors, supporters, 
and enablers of our students. Thank you for your commitment to this beautiful mission of molding and educating the young. You mold and develop not only the minds, but also the personality, the values, and character of our students, making them confident and responsible individuals, living out faith, compassion, zeal, integrity, simplicity, justice, and service. Thank you for witnessing these values to our students and for your dedication in providing them the necessary strength of character and in building their trust in God to deal with obstacles and challenges in life. You are their second parents who guide them during times of need. You are indeed role models in their growing years. In a very special way, we wish to acknowledge the organizers of this gathering. Sakshi Reka Nataranchan from Central East India, Nepal. Sister Afrida from Indonesia. Dali Boras from Philippines, Japan. Sister Felsi and Doreen from Southwest India. Geraldine Robert from Singapore, Malaysia. Onali De Silva from GSIF and Teresa Simmons from GSIF. Congratulations and thank you for all the hard work you have done to make this gathering possible and meaningful. Thank you. Over to you, Alfonso. Thank you, Susan. Our dear Good Shepherd educators, we are happy to see your enthusiastic presence. We believe that each one of us is ready to bring new energy yeah, that will enrich our mission, especially in the area of education. And our being together bring us new awareness that we are united in one mission, that of compassion, reconciliation, justice, and mercy. Once again, thank you for your presence and let us use our time together effectively for the sake of those who are in our care. Thank you. Thank, thank you, dear leaders, for situating us and getting us onboarded for such a beautiful event. At this point, I request us to settle down, take a deep breath, and invite the mighty presence of God who binds us together with cords that cannot be broken. We are here today with a very powerful role as an educator. Educator of students numbering to about 26,000 students in Sri Lanka about 9,000 students in Southwest India, about 3,500 students in Central East India, another 1,000 in Indonesia, and about 2,000 plus in Singapore, a 200 in Malaysia, and another 3,000 in Philippines. So let me just give you the total of about almost 45,000 students. Let's do a quick math, multiply it by three. We are the powerful influencers of 150,000 persons through the Good Shepherd Schools. Dear educators, 
you and I are the co-creators and co-designers of the destiny of these students. So I invite you to keep this in mind and watch the video. Good Shepherd Educators Gathering. Building Compassionate Connections. 31st July 2022. What better way to celebrate the 227th birthday of St. Mary Euphrasia? Dear daughters and sons, you are called to be so many good shepherds. Instruct yourselves thoroughly in all that relates to the ministry, even in the smallest things. Be very attentive, gathering grain by grain, like little birds, the spiritual food that is given. Look how our girls and boys have built bridges. We are one Good Shepherd family. We are the ones we are waiting for. On this note, I hand over to Onali to lead us forward. With that, I think we can now move on to meet the educators from Sri Lanka and Indonesia. Sri Lankan Good Shepherd Educators who are called to a radical and universal commitment building compassionate connections to touch the hearts of children, girls and women.
Welcome to Good Shepherd Indonesia. From Jakarta. Marau West Borneo. Batam Rai Islands. And Bogor West Java. Good Shepherd Community from Jakarta. Good Shepherd Community from Marau West Borneo. Good Shepherd Community from Batam Rai Islands. and Good Shepherd Community from Bogor West Java. That's all. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and remember, one person is of more value than that of the whole world. Goodbye from Indonesia. So... So we go to this next part. Uh, it's, it's really, really very nice to see everyone here. The next session will be on a poll. Mm -hmm. I invite everyone to get ready. I'm going to show this poll. And uh, we're going to poll where we are, where we are from um, in Asia Pacific. So I'm going to put up the poll now. And all our countries are listed. So the poll says, I belong to a good shepherd school from, you choose your country. And then later, when everyone has polled, we will see what the attendance is like for today's gathering. So I'm launching the poll now. Be ready to choose which country you're from. Oh, wow. I see the numbers building up. Two hundred over people have pulled. We are almost reaching the halfway mark. We even have people from Pakistan. Very nice. We have 385 people who have polled. So we just ask everyone to, um, to log in and to poll where you're from. Yeah, it's slowing down. 426 people are polling that have polled. So please choose the country where you're from. Okay, 445 people have polled. We have 595 here. 74% have polled. 75%. We'll just wait for one more minute and then I'll end the poll so that we can see um, out of the almost 500 people who have polled uh, where we are from. Okay. So continue to poll um, for those who are able to choose the poll button. Okay, we have 463 and it has stopped here. So I'm going to end poll now so that we can roughly see about 470 people out of 600 uh, where people are from. And I'm sharing the results now, if you can see. Um, we have got 15% from Central East India, 4% from Indonesia, and the Indonesian uh, poll uh, is a little bit 
um, distorted because people, many people are behind one single device. There are about 90 over people from Indonesia who are here with us today. And Malaysia, we have 13. Pakistan, we have six. Philippines, 125. Singapore, 21. Sri Lanka, 56. And also from Sri Lanka, we have many people behind one device. Southwest India, 138. And others who may not um, know exactly which country they're from, uh, there are 15 of you. So um, this is really a very good reflection of our first gathering as Good Shepherd Schools in Asia Pacific. Um, over to you, Sashi. And at this moment, I invite get to know a little more about each other. So we will be sharing a link to enter into a breakout room. You can just automatically get into that breakout room and make sure that you spend some time sharing with each other, tell your name, where you come from. And... Uh, Every day you will be in a group of about eight to ten persons. Just be mindful that some may have more behind the one gadget. But the person who is at the at the screen, please engage in the conversation in the breakout room and simply share your story. Share your fondest memory as a good shepherd educator. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for coming back. I know it was a little challenging for some of us with poor internet connections. Now we invite you to share your fondest memory. Share your fondest memory on the Mentimeter link which has been posted. Just click on the link and share your fondest memory as a, an educator. So in a line or two. So the link has been given. We have shared the link. And we invite you to. Oh, wow. Let me start sharing some of the memories which have started flowing already. Oh, let's enjoy this. Great. I'm very happy to impart values to the little one. Service with love. Educating young minds. Children growing in confidence and knowing that God loves them. My first year of teaching. Oh, that must be a beautiful memory, I'm sure. It's nice to meet people from Good Shepherd Group. More activities like this. Wow. Great. Networking. Yes. Networking. Collaboration. Nice memories to create, is it? Mm -hmm. Please feel free to type your memories as a good shepherd. Go ahead to everyone. Being able to incorporate our good shepherd values, especially compassion in our curriculum. Oh, wow. How very, you're very cognizant of that. How nice. We can interact with various teenage characters and get to know their world. Yes, like Sujani said, we really need to shift a lot across the centuries to reach their times. Listening to the small ones' stories about their family, both real, oh, and built up stories. Oh, yes, such lovely. That must be lovely. Teresa, I don't know to read this. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, yes, uh, this one. Um, uh, let me read the Indonesian yeah. one. Yang paling uh, indah adalah membantu dan melayani kepada yang sangat membutuhkan. It's interesting to serve those uh, who are in need, no? Ah, oh mm. yeah. 
recognize. Mm, and see here someone. My God, any of us, have, there are so many stories which have already come in and I'm just enjoying and amazed at the way there are so many stories. So come back. Oh, that's a beautiful feeling. And visit and say, thank you. Ah, enjoyed working together. Great memories. Mm. So we have about 125 memories already that put down here. I'm so proud to be an educator in an esteemed institution. Lovely that someone who's from Bangalore. I was tasked to be the perfect of prefect of discipline. Oh, okay, the better people. So that must have been an interesting task for you. 21 years of being part of the Good Shepherd family is a real joy. Mm. A lot of good messages are also in the chat box. Ah. If we scroll the chat box, we will also see many people have posted there ah. their messages. Yes. Mm. Lovely, lovely. Yes. First day I'm, I enjoyed the classroom. I can imagine no? so much. So much. How nice. My fondest memory. I'm able to teach students and imparting them the values which can help them share, shape their future. Right. And I'm I think this is going to be a very cherished story list. Mm. I'm going to stop here. And I'm very, very grateful to all of you who have shared your stories. Just feel free to add this and we will send you the entire story back to you, all of you who have registered today. You will realize the similar stories that are part of your life as well. Oh, that was nice. It was amazing. Did you enjoy the storytelling? Storytelling? Konali, are you there? Yes, I am. Konali. Ah, so I, I was just wondering, the storytelling is so overwhelming. I'm sure you enjoyed it. And I think yes. that we can meet more educators. Um, okay, I think, um, well, the responses are amazing. This is, it, this shows that, you know, we are not just um, boxed or, you know, closeted in our little school. We are such a global family. And there's so many of us who have such similar, um, you know, experiences and so much of sharing that we can make with each other. So now... <laughs> Um, let's go and meet our educators from Southwest India and Philippines. Let's see who they are. The Southwest India Unit presents the Good Shepherd Schools and Colleges of Balari. Philomena's Composite PU College. To pastures of life and of joy. And safe in my fold, you will always stay. Where no one can Lord, took in the garden. I lay down my life for you. I lay down my life for you. St. Mary's Higher Primary School. I do I We present the Good Shepherd Schools and Colleges of Bengaluru, Saint Euphrasia's Girls High School. I am the Good Shepherd, I know the They listen when I call their name. Good I'm Shepherd School. Sacred Heart Girls High School. I lay down my life for you. I lay down my life for you. Now we present the Good Shepherd Schools of Mysore. Good Shepherd Convent High School. I lay down my life for you. Good 
Chepard Convent English Higher Primary School. All right. So this part of the program, we would be talking about this calling of a good shepherd educator. What is our calling? So um, let me um, start off by, you know, asking the question again: Who is a good shepherd educator? And Sashi at the very beginning mentioned also that she is a good good shepherd educator. So what is this calling? Um, I was once listening to a sister explaining who a good shepherd is. And she said, a good shepherd will always have that bad order or that foul school of the I'm sure you have heard about this, you know, this statement you would have heard about before. But think about it again. For a good shepherd to have that bad order of the sheep, the shepherd must be with the sheep. The shepherd should feel the sheep. The shepherd must be surrounded by the sheep throughout the journey. And the shepherd must be guiding them and making sure they do not go astray. Well, that doesn't seem to be that too easy to be a good, good shepherd. And that makes me ask the question again. So who is a good shepherd educator? Who are we, in other words? Let's move on to the next slide and see the first value of a good shepherd educator. Before we actually move on to the values of the Good Shepherd Educators, I would also want to tell you this calling of a Good Shepherd. Kita um, masuk it's actually, panggilan sebagai pendidik dari Gembala Baik. In the Good Shepherd Congregation Directions. 
statement, the good Kitam. position paper on the girl child, and all our school's vision and mission statements. It highlights the calling of a good shepherd educator. Therefore, the presence, the contribution, and the importance of all good shepherd educators is recognized globally. And our gathering here today gives all of us a unique opportunity to reflect on what our calling is to be an educator. So what are these values of a good shepherd educator? Let's look at the next slide. And I will start off with this value of individual worth. This value is um, not new to us, but what does it actually mean in terms of being an educator? See, each and every child is a rights holder. As educators, we become those at the forefront, setting an example of being true champions of respecting the rights of a child. As educators, we treat our children with respect. We become role models who shape their futures. We get to guide them towards exploring abundant opportunities and growth for growth and expression. We empower them to lead the way with dignity and gratitude. Therefore, individual worth is not only about teaching how to respect, but also leading them with respect. Our gestures, our words, expressions of respect towards children and others all reflect through this individual work. Let me uh, now share um, a personal story. Um, I am a past pupil of St. Bridget's Convent, Sri Lanka. And my little daughter also goes to St. Bridget's Convent, Montessori, here in Sri Lanka. Uh, recently, she was in her Zoom class a few weeks back. And I was listening to what she was, you know, doing in the class. They were asked to write words in Singhala. And my daughter kept on telling, too easy, too easy. Each time her auntie would give another word. At one point, I was worried because it may have been disturbing the class. And me being an educator also, I was a little um, worried how uh, her teacher may react. And it was, I was quite, um, uh, quite delighted and amazed to see how it was handled. Um, my daughter could have easily been shushed and asked not, you know, to, be, to keep quiet. But her teacher was kind and very encouraging towards every single child in the class, irrespective of their pace of learning. When my daughter did well, she would say, wow, Suharya, good job. The next word I'm giving is going to be a little difficult. Now, let's see if you can write that too. I'm sure you can. And when Suharya asked for help, when she didn't understand something, her teacher would say, don't worry, Suharya, let me show you again. You look carefully and you will get it for sure. Now, these simple words of respect towards my child and the encouragement, it carries a very long way. When a child's rights are respected and valued and protected, they will in turn learn to respect the rights of others and stand up for their rights by themselves as well. And that is individual worth. Next, we can move on to the next value, which is mercy. We often say our children are all the same for us. The truth is, our children are not all the same. But we may feel the same for each and every one of them. Our children are different. They come with their 
own uniqueness. They will have their own strengths, their own weaknesses. As an educator, we need to be compassionate and supportive, to be empathetic when mistakes are made and celebrative when successes are achieved. And most importantly, to give our children the kind support to restore themselves physically, psychologically, and spiritually when in need. Um, myself, oh, I'm an dibutuhkan saya sendiri bahwa saya adalah pendidik dan saya juga mengajar di universitas whole class he kept on talking to everyone around him and not paying attention to the lecture i'm sure you can relate to stories of your own as well this is not something new but you know this student was quite disruptive and disturbing but one day During a break, I waited until everyone else left in the class, and I went to his desk, sat next to him, and I asked him um, what he does at home during leisure time. I asked if he has friends, um, his hobbies, um, just a you know a small chat with him. Little into the conversation, he said, "He has no one to speak at home." parents were separated and they were too busy no close friends no one to hear him out and he was quite by himself and then this 18 year old boy broke into tears when i told him that he can talk all he want in class but given that He makes sure all his friends around him finish the work on time. Now, this was my way of being merciful. I realized being merciful, kind and supportive took nothing more from me as an educator, but it may have meant a lot for my students. With mercy, we move on to the next slide where we talk about reconciliation this good shepherd value of reconciliation is one of the most vital values that we need to take to heart children grow up with educators the first 18 years of their lives are spent with educators like you and me which means a human would first learn to communicate respectfully solve conflicts with kindness and promote harmony by following their educators including their parents therefore promoting love forgiveness and respect through our words gestures and expressions will foster unity and peace in many generations to come you know i when i when i keep thinking about this i realize the world can in fact one day be free of corruption and free of discrimination given that we educators find ourselves to be an integral part of facilitating reconciliation to promote reconciliation by educating and guiding our children to value peace harmony and togetherness you know when you look at your textbooks your school um curricula you would see peace and reconciliation often becomes a topic of discussion in schools when we go to teach our children about racial diversity or religious diversity but it is in fact beyond that it is essential to be mindful as educators that reconciliation is in fact a value that needs to be instilled in our children from a very young age 
So it's not just a lesson in a textbook. We need to guide our children and journey with them to acknowledge, admire, and appreciate diversity and not just limit the discussion to a topic on a textbook. I think reconciliation, all our countries have either gone through or going through difficult and challenging times where we, have, we as educators play a key role to instill the values of togetherness in our children to overcome challenges. With that, we can move on to the last value that I would like to share. This value, zeal, is a value that I treasure the most because zeal is very important and crucial for all of us educators, as I believe. Being an educator is not a job. I'm sure all of you would agree with me on that. This is not just another job. It is a service we render through the skills and talents and knowledge and time we devote to enrich the lives of our children, to allow them to grow in their own uniqueness. This is why it is so important for educators ourselves to share our experiences our learnings and knowledge with each other so that we can strengthen ourselves to be better educators. And like Sashi uh, said, to be good, good shepherd educators. And zeal will allow educators to serve holistic education in their classrooms, schools, communities, and beyond to provide our children with value-based, globally informed education beyond a simple textbook. Let me share a very special personal story with you. This was a very interesting one for myself as well. You know, I have um, been using this um, you know, quote where we say, practice makes it perfect. And we say this, I'm sure there are many educators just like myself who use this phrase uh, many times to encourage our students to practice. Um, so I've been used to this term, practice makes it perfect. But my daughter one day, she came home after school and she asks me, Amma, tell me, Practice makes what? So I said, because I already knew the answer, I said, wow, you know that. Practice makes it perfect. And then she looks at me and says, no, Amma, it doesn't have to be perfect. My auntie in school said, practice makes progress. This is zeal, sharing knowledge, time and skill to make a difference in lives of many. So many that you may not even realize. I mean, look at me today. I'm sharing this story and stories of my daughter's teacher when she wouldn't even know the impact that she's creating across the world. This is the zeal of a good shepherd educator like you and like me. And when we think about it, modern teaching pedagogies in the world recognize student-centered learning approaches. Sister Sujani also mentioned this about having the students in the center to make education more effective and engaging. And now if you think back, you will now find the good shepherd values of individual worth, 
mercy, reconciliation, and zeal are in fact the guiding values of modern day teaching. So our Good Shepherd values, in fact, never gets outdated. It is integral and it is core of modern day teaching to keep students at the center and the educators like you and me to lead them while being amidst them, with them, not ahead of them, not behind them, but amidst them. And with that, I will go to my final slide, which is a quote of St. Mary of Frasia, which you have heard and seen many a time. One person is of more value than the world. You are that one person. You are a good shepherd educator and you make a difference. This is the calling I feel and I am sure this, is, this would be the calling that you feel as a good shepherd educator as well. Thank you. Monali, you've given us so much to think and <laughs> love ourselves for. I have no other better word to say because often as educators, we really, you know, at the end of a long day, we wonder, what am I doing here? But thanks for that last uh, you know, quote of our own dear mother founders who has said that we are the ones who are most precious. Yes, so true, Anali. Thank you so much. And on that beautiful insight, after this insightful input, I would like to invite all of us to just have a quick checking on our Good Shepherd barometers. Let's see how we feel about a, a very simple um, exercise. I invite everyone to do is write one value that resonates most with you as a good shepherd educator, which is that one value which resonates most with you as a good shepherd educator. We will be sharing the Mentimeter link. We invite you to just quickly the thought, popcorn, pop, put your thoughts there on that Mentimeter. Wow. So many of us with such, can you see how beautifully the popcorn has popped up and the barometer shows reconciliation, individual worth over the notion service, teaching that love. Yes, let's capture this in our hearts. And keeping this in mind, this beautiful barometer, which has flipped, given us a glimpse of the beautiful values which we hold and cherish close, close to our hearts. I invite you to take a few moments of silence as you just jot down and reflect on this question. How am I practicing these values as an educator? Am I practicing these good shepherd values as an educator? Okay, once Sashi, yes, please unmute yourself. Yeah. 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 Or not. Share screen.
All right, before we go to the next part, those two videos you saw were from Central East India, Nepal, and um, Singapore, Malaysia. And next, Sashi, over to you. Yes, it's time for us, one minute. Uh, it's time for us to move. We've been getting beautiful messages appreciating Onali and thanking her for stirring our hearts. And it's time for us to move to the next step. What is our call to action as Good Shepherd educators? I'd like you to know your questions. We will be taking them into our discussions. And I'm sure your journaling will also be able to gather your valuable inputs for the discussion. What can we do better to better live out the Good Shepherd values in our schools? It's for the discussion. And we will also be sharing a link to the Google form. And the second question is of prime importance to take things forward. What that is, what is your one hope as a group for Good Shepherd educators in the Good Shepherd schools in Asia Pacific? Your one hope. So you discuss and put down as a group your one hope for Good Shepherd educators in the Good Shepherd Schools initiatives. Watch out before you enter your breakout rooms, you will be having a link, which I invite you to click on. That will give you the link to a Google form where at the end of your discussion of about 20 minutes, Make sure that in this breakout room, you have one secretary who will help you to key in the group's collective message of one hope into the Google form and appoint a leader to animate the conversation. And that we are uh, Onali, uh, I mute all. Can you open your mic? Okay. Can everyone hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. I am sharing my screen. Can everyone see? Uh, maybe a bit bigger. Better? Yes. yes. Okay. So we have been receiving all your responses uh, for the question that you have been discussing in your groups. What is that one hope um, as a group uh, that you would have as uh, Good Shepherd educators in Good Shepherd schools in Asia Pacific? So what is that one hope? Let's see. Um, to expand acceptance, to be compassionate in the real sense of it, sustain connections, um, be a change maker. We have develop good qualities and values. I think there are more responses coming in. Uh, one goal and one mission. 
Um, then we have bring value to be lived and practiced by students so that they become good persons. So it's about instilling values in our students. Um, then we also have here um, continue to inspire uh, one another to work stronger for Good Shepherd mission. If we are continuously inspired, we are motivated and can face challenges together and support one another. So there's a lot of uh, responses on the importance of togetherness. And I keep going to the top because <laughs> there are so many responses coming in. Um, if I scroll a little, let me see. Scroll a little down. It keeps moving up. Give me a second. Onali, oh, just uh, stop accepting responses. And then after that, we can oh, open okay. up again. Mm. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Let me uh, share a bit more. <laughs> Uh, we also have here a commitment of educators to form the GS values, the Good Shepherd values, and transform children committed uh, to the founder's uh, vision of making a difference in children's lives. Be better again. Um, to have good association, companionship with common goal. It's very important. Um, globally competitive, processing good virtues. Be more loving and compassionate towards children. I hope that we will be able to gather together in one place and meet new friends from all over Asia Pacific and have our sharing face to face. That would be a lovely gathering for the future. Um, spread and live all good values in our daily work. Then we also have... Um, as a group, our hope is to empower women and make a difference as we are less um, acknowledged and given importance in various fields. And as educators, we would impart the core values in our children, which will help them fight against challenges that come their way. Create enthusiasm, uh, activity-based learning, being compassionate and empathetic to the children. Um, then we have uh, making a difference, updating ourselves, being compassionate and being globally recognized by our values. These are some very good um, hopes that you have brought forward from your groups. Um, then respect the values. We have uh, hope is a learnable, measurable skill and one that has a sizable impact on student success in school. Um, then we have to teach the children to be good human beings. Once again, um, I think relating to our values. Um, then we have to be united in one goal of finding the lost sheep as the main purpose of Good Shepherd Congregation, understanding one another through, although in different languages, using the language of love taught by our creator. And whatever we see, any Good Shepherd educator, although we are from different parts of the world, there is one common identity that everyone possesses and that this value is taught by our mother foundress, St. Mary Eucratia, lovely. Um, then we have, there's a lot of um, hope that has been brought forward relating to the Good Shepherd values, which is, I think, um, pivotal. It's it's it is the core and the, the strength of uh, good shepherd educators. Um, we also have all of us should inculcate good shepherd values, more participation from staff, networking exchange programs of good shepherd schools, Asia Pacific, living the values, spirituality and, char uh, and charism of the good shepherd to all staff uh, and students. It's a very important one. Um, then we have empowerment of the girl child, continuity and sustainability of this event. Um, as Good Shepherd educators to be connected, exchange resources, build capacity, strengthen relationships across Asia Pacific region. I think lots of hope to come back again and um, continue our journey together. 
uh, then we also have here, we will spread out uh, the visibility of our mission across the world, empowerment to all underprivileged women and girls across the world, transform young people. Then we have to continue uh, what has been started today, the Compassionate Connections. Um, then we have to practice Good Shepherd values again, we have, and to have shared responsibilities with children, teachers, parents, to be united with each other, to learn from the platform and practice it in our, our institutions. This is lovely. There's a lot of good hope for educators in Asia Pacific to um, come together and share um, learnings and values with each other. Um, we hope that we will be wiser in teaching our students, willing to reach out uh, and be more, uh, more humble do, uh, doing our responsibility as a teacher. Um, we also have here, one big hope is there will be no corruption. And I think that also comes from, you know, being good, good shepherds um, for us to be, um, you know, have the good shepherd values in the center of everything that we do. Um, we have more gatherings like this and hopefully face to face. Uh, that would be uh, lovely and I'm sure all of us would be looking forward to an event like that one day. Um, to be able to spread the mission and vision of Good Shepherd School um, and let our school be known to all. Um, we also have willing to help each other. Um, for example, to fellow educators, uh, doing it first for myself and encourage each other, to support each other, to make positive change. Um, this is lovely. What are your thoughts, uh, Trisa and Sashi? I think there's so much hope for Good Shepherd Schools in Asia Pacific. Um, and, you know, um, there's so much that collectively we could do to enhance and um, the Good Shepherd mission here. Yes. I'm saying there are there's so much of potential in this space. And this potential is enough to move the mission forward. Wow. It's just that we have brought, come together at the right time. And I'm sure that there's going to be a great future ahead for the mission. Yes. And I think with these, uh, with these sharings, it is also evident that our educators do understand that there are strengths that we have uh, in common and also unique strengths that we can share with each other. Um, mm. as a you know bigger group um, mm. and then we also have our one hope for the GS educators in uh, G uh, Good Shepherd schools in Asia Pacific is to practice compassion with justice in the mm. holistic formation of students um, zeal to strengthen networking as an educator I think that was one big reason we are all gathered here today to network with each other um, but it is um, it's so lovely to see that we are such a big network and we are not um, alone in our schools um, I think that's something very very um, personally it, it reflects so much for me as well um, we also have to reach and reconnect uh, more not just in Asia Pacific so to go global um, more connection um, I think these sharings are lovely um, join the partners in mission and spread this mission throughout the world the dedication love interest to teach the young um, young one the moral values to bring them better persons um, in the future, strengthening partnerships with other Good Shepherd educators. I think um, these sharings, um, uh, um, it speaks a lot. It's, it's few words, but it speaks a lot. Um, and thank you very much uh, for all the lovely hopes that you have brought forward for Good Shepherd educators.
Wow, that is amazing, Onali. And Teresa, really, I think we've got the richness of this gathering has been placed there. The hopes are really great vision for the future. So thank you, dear leaders. I think you have some new directions to be. The calls to action are a big call for all of us together, isn't it? Over to you, Teresa. Let's build up on this call to action. Sashi, do we have that final video or should I uh, show it from my screen? I will share the, mm. I will share the video. Mm. This is where I'm supposed to be Living a life of service Serve a greater purpose I think this short message is really captures uh, our session today to go out and do something good. Let me put the link into the chat box. Over to you, Sashi. And then on this note, I think it's a beautiful message to take out for all of us. Go out and do something good. Yes, and be the light in someone's day. Perfect. I invite you to just share your birthday message on this occasion to all the fellow educators in this play platform. I invite you to just click on that link and share your message to the fellow educators. Let's see what connections are coming up. Beautiful messages are there again. And I'm just happy to share that with you. Wow, beautiful. I'll be a good, good shepherd. More collaborations in the future. I am important. You are important. Oh, so beautiful. Wow. Learn to teach. Such loaded, powerful statements. Enjoy this lovely messaging board here. Mm -hmm. Let us journey together. Yeah. Let us do good together for the mission. Oh, yes. Yes, let yes. your light shine. You know, let your light shine as good sh shepherd educators. Very nice oh. to be steadfast in these trying times, persevere and be strong in faith. Oh, so kindle lovely. love, yeah, kindle love and compassion in each one. Very nice. Mm. Let us all go out and do something good. Oh, that's nice. I love this. 
just imagine if this were a real physical platform. Mm. Great, let's get connected. Yeah, we are. We've already done the first steps. Great. It will be very interesting to see in future when um, schools meet each other. Schools make arrangements separately to meet each other and to exchange good practices. Yes. Mm. Nice. Now there is already great hope for the future. I, I'm sure this is the beginning of many more. Love is our banner. Indeed, love is our banner. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to stop there because there's such beautiful messages coming over and we have some lovely messages on the chat as well. Mm. Yeah. And I think that our hearts are filled and overwhelmed with this beautiful response that we have received by coming together as a great Good Shepherd family on the occasion of our mama's birthday. She must be here feeling very proud of all her daughters and sons. So I invite uh, now with this hearts full of gratitude, I'm going to invite Alfonso to give us a, a message for concluding this program today. Over to you, Alfonso. Thank you. I would like to start with the words of St. Mary Euphrasia as we celebrate her birthday. Gratitude is the memory of the heart. Our dear Good Shepherd Mission Partners, I am sure it is this gratitude that fills our hearts at the end of our gathering. A lot of reasons why we should be grateful. First of all, we are grateful to our Shepherd God who has gathered us together in this virtual gathering. It is a sacred space because we believe that God is with us and has listened to our stories. The space that we have created together is a space of co-learning, of wisdom sharing, searching, supporting, and a space where we will be transformed. It is indeed a historical moment for us as Good Shepherd educators that gathered for the first time as a family, Good Shepherd family in Asia Pacific. We are united in mission, Good Shepherd mission. Now I would like to invite each one of us just to be quiet for a moment and imagine the energy of compassion, reconciliation, justice and mercy that flows within our circle that connect us as Good Shepherd schools across Asia Pacific. It is this very energy that we are going to bring home and share to the many thousands of Good Shepherd students in Asia Pacific, to their parents, to those we work with, and to our own families. What a wonderful connection it is. And let us continue to widen this circle and connection that will create a strong network of Good Shepherd values. Thanks to each one of you, our Good Shepherd educators, for your active and creative participation and contribution. Thank you for your courage to dream new dreams. 
to our interpreter, Siska Gunawan. Thank you very much for being available to help us and to make possible for us, especially the educators from Indonesia to participate in this gathering. Last but not least, once again, we thank the organizers of this gathering, Teresa Simmons, Onali, Sashi, Jolly Boras, Sister Felsi, and Doreen, Geraldine Robert, and Sister Afrida. Thank you so much for your hard work and for the energies that you have put together in this wonderful event. May this gathering be fruitful for our Good Shepherd schools and develop our sense of unity, interconnectedness, and oneness in mission, that of compassion, reconciliation, justice, and mercy. And may the zeal of St. Mary Eucratia continue to energize us to be, to be drawn by love, passionate for justice. Thank you once again, and God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that beautiful conclusion of tying the threads and bringing us together. Together we can. And this is the beginning. And we hope that we have many more occasions to continue to build compassionate connections. So let me say, maybe we can, I will just like to say, I am Sashi and I'm happy to build compassionate connections. From our uh, the team, can I just request uh, Onali, Onali, over to you <laughs> to close it with a word. Uh, thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity, Sashi. I think this was um, uh, a first time in the history of Good Shepherd where we have uh, brought together all Good Shepherd educators from Asia Pacific. And it was lovely to see all of us coming here today uh, and share our you know, hopes and experiences, um, our learnings. Uh, and I think this is a good step being stolen uh, to we can uh, come together again and um, journey together uh, for a you know long lasting um, contribution towards making progress in our children not only intellectually but also as good humans with values of good shepherd so thank you very much everyone it was lovely meeting all of you and until we meet again Bye-bye. God bless you, everyone. Namaste. Thank, Thank you, you and God bless. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, sisters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. 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 God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend. Bye-bye. Thanks, Teresa. Thank you, Teresa, Sashi. A good birthday celebration tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.
thank you very much for the participants in india especially from good shepherd mysore thank you for the organizers for your great support help guide and each and everything and it is a one of the memorable event in the good shepherd is free thank you 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 i'm going to oh, end the meeting now bye everyone bye see you